So, bodyguard. So we found out that um, the bomb was planted under the stage, not from the briefcase. Um, some of the inspectors um, think that David has something to do with it. Um, with another detective um, wasn't happy with David because um, they've all lost uh, Kim, one of the uh, one of their people, um, and he's not said nothing about him about her whatsoever. So they decided to go for a pint, um, and a guy in a Land Rover was watching. Um, so they was back in the interview room with Nadia, um, the woman from the first bomb attack, to see if she recognised any of the photos they had. Um, and she didn't. Until David Short showed her a photo of Longcross. Um, he's the guy that's been um, um, he's been he had the secret meetings with Julia and also he's been um, deleting CCTV from all different kind of areas. Um, it is really hard to follow, but that's why I love the series so much because if it's is gets your brain thinking. Um, so David was in his flat listening to old recordings of the conversations between Longcross and Julia. He went to an internet cafe. Um, and then he was hiding outside. The man he's after went there with two other guys. David thinks that the security service planted a bomb. Um, he went to see the doctor that treated Julia to find out who visited her, which didn't really help much at all, really. Um, he went and seen her ex-husband, um, Rob who was one of the MPs, was questioned. Um, and David believes him. Um, the guy they are looking for has made an allegation about him and Julia having it off. Um, so he decided to go and tell his wife before someone else did. But she already knew beforehand. Because someone went in there the day before to tell her. Apparently someone from the Secret Service. Um, he showed her a photo. Um, and it was Longcross. So, um, he told Louise. Um, Louise went to check it out. And the CCTV has been deleted. Um, so, is Louise in it on... Uh, is Louise in um, on it with him? Um, not too sure, but I think Louise might have something to do with it. Um, David met up with someone to sell seven gun guns to. He wants PS PSL that won't be tracked back to him. Well, I haven't got a clue what that means. Um, so whatever he's planning, will it go to plan? Um... Louise went and seen David with CCTV from his wife's safe house with his kids in um, with so-called security service going in searching the place um, when they weren't meant to. Um, David went and looked around Julia's apartment to see if he can find a tablet that everyone is looking for because um, he said he doesn't know where it is. Um, but then he went back, uh, what was it, David was in a cafe, um, and a lady from the Secret Service, who was fired, uh, and says she's moving on, was there, chatting away, but when he let, when she left, 
she got in a car that was used um, to drive David and Julia around, which was very odd. Um, and then uh, the detective guy went and seen um, the boss um, and said about David uh, attempting suicide and stuff. Um, and now he's been suspended, and they've taken away his, uh, his, um, firearm badge. Um, but that ain't gonna stop him finding out who killed her, and who's starting all these bombs. Um, so, David thinks that Louise told him, which she didn't, it was the other guy. Um, and then... At the end of it, he went to Julia's place again and got the tablet, what everyone's looking for, behind the photograph on the desk, and then it ended. So, yeah, it's it's been another odd, strange series uh, episode. Next week is the final one, which is really shame. Um, but it's on longer next week. It's on for... 90 minutes, I think it is. So, I really hope they're going to, um, you know, have a a brilliant ending to the series. Because, like everyone's been saying, this has been the best drama for ages and ages. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the final episode next week.